the end that's on the first floor. And that's why this building in that room. Lingen is unconscious, he's not deciding anything at all. So I'm sorry, and I'm making a little video for her. Why did, why, oh, that's fine. why did they bring him here? Do you want because to be on video? Because it's close because it's inside because it has beds. It's a medical Okay. Place. So it's a brick building and that if someone's still trying to assassinate him, he's more secure here, I guess. Right. Than... They don't know that Booth was the only attacker. In fact, he wasn't. There was also Spangler. Okay. So Avery, this is the house where Lincoln died. Um, There's a desk. This is the living room and a lot of people and this says, in this bedroom, Secretary of War Stanton held several cabinet meetings, interviewed witnesses, and ordered the pursuit of the assassins. Look, there's an old sewing machine in the corner and a, uh, a pitcher that has a little basin for water. You see the fireplace, and, and uh, these are the type of beds. Now, Lincoln was... Uh, I'm going to look out in the hallway here. You can see he came from the front door there. He came into the house. They, he was shot in the head. They brought him into this house. It's across the street from Ford Theater. They brought him into this house. This is the living room. And then I'm going to go back in the room. I'm going to go back to the back of the house. Here's a, uh, here's a staircase. It goes up the stairs. But now I'm going to the back of the house, to the room where they took him, when he, where he actually passed away. And so... And this is the bed where they brought him. And they have it closed in a box to keep people from touching it. And it says here that he died at 7.22 a.m. on April, 20, April 15th, 1865. And this is the bed. Look how small it is. And he was a very tall guy, so that had to be very uncomfortable in addition to... Of course, being shot.